I'm Jeremy, and you just bought a new vehicle. Did you get gap protection? Huh? I'm talking about the gap in your loan. What is that all about? What does it all mean? What happens when I buy a vehicle? The first thing, as soon as I take it off the lot, the vehicle actually depreciates, right? It's worth less than when I bought it. But if I take a loan out on it, especially like seven years or more than that, I'm gonna be paying that loan a lot slower than what the vehicle is gonna depreciate, meaning that vehicle is worth less right away, but I still owe a lot. So what happens to my loan if the vehicle's a write-off? Does it just go away? No, you dummy. It stays and you gotta pay it. Oh. So if the vehicle is stolen, if it catches fire and burns to the ground, if it is in an accident and is deemed irreparable because it needs too many costs, the insurance company that you have the vehicle insured with is gonna write it off and they are gonna pay you fair value. Now don't get mad hmm. if fair value isn't what you owe on the loan. The fact that you put a helmet and a jacket and all that other stuff on the loan has nothing to do with the value of your vehicle that you are insuring, right? Admit that to yourself right now. The fact that I owe more than what the vehicle is worth means I am left with a gap there. Meaning I can have a loan that started for $25,000 because I bought a snowmobile, I put a jacket, I put a helmet on there. Makes a lot of sense. I, I agree, like that's something that you should do. Uh, but then a year and a half later, the vehicle got stolen. Oh. And in the blue book, that vehicle is only worth 12 or 13,000, but I still owe on my loan 20,000. What happens? Well, that debt doesn't go away. You still owe that to the creditor. So I'm left without a machine and with a debt that I gotta pay right away because that asset is gone. That is where gap protection comes in. Why? Because it is covering the gap between what the insurance give you and what you owe on the loan. And it is available in Ontario. In Quebec, we have some very cool programs that are about the same. Across Canada, we have those as well. Essentially, it is an insurance on your loan to make sure that if something happens, you can walk away from the loan and move on. Yay! I've seen it work more than once where snowmobiles have gotten stolen and there was a gap, a four, five, six thousand dollar gap. The insurance kicked in and it paid it all off. It was great for people. The programs that we use will even cover your deductible um, and there's a few other perks in there. But for sure, if uh, you don't know what gap protection is on a loan, now you do. Should you have it on your loan? Yes. Yes, say it with me. Nod your, you're nodding your head right now. And the next time you talk to your F&I or the guy financing your toy, make sure you ask him about gap. And if you don't have a guy, or even if you do have a guy, you should come see me because I'm better than that guy.